Hey! You know what would be good? You know what would be great? <laughs> when you record a video. Make sure you hit the record button. Yes. But first. Um... <laughs> Hi, everybody. We're playing Chrono Cross, the best game of all time. <laughs> no, that's... That's actually probably not true. It's so, not fair so, for me to say that. So somebody, somebody. So I, this, this. Um, I guess we should we should establish. We we did a recording session. Um, <laughs> for three and a half stop, hours. Stop it! Stop it! I'm, <laughs> three and a half hours. Three and a half hours, and at the end of it, you learn real fast. You should probably check if you hit the record button and it's still on. So we're back to doing this, and this opening cutscene, I have to say is a little bit more interesting the second time around. Uh-huh. Um, now that I have played... So, I, let's... I, I'll talk about this when we go to the main menu, but for the time being, I want to actually look at this a bit more thoroughly. Because... Did not get very far. Let's establish that, first yeah. of all. So you uh, played... You defeated two bosses, quote-unquote. Two. They were basically the tutorial bosses. Yes. Uh... And by the time that you had beaten them, before the story is actually explained to you, you kind of figured out how Chrono Cross is different from Chrono Trigger. I, I made a prediction. Yeah. I wasn't going to go into much more detail because, like, uh, in the next, I want to say, hour to two hours after you had predicted it, you would have, like, the game tells you exactly what's Precis going on. I, I, okay. So. But I think even from the intro video, you can kind of deduce what's happening. Like, it's already scoring kind of, things? I, that's, why I, that's why I'm actually trying to really pay attention this time around. Before, I was joking because that cat man looks like a kill Raffi. <laughs> now, I know who this girl is now. You know who you think this girl I, is now. I okay, how I think this girl <laughs> is, right. Because, again, well, I'll, well, not everyone, I'll, I'll explain more uh, when we get to the main menu. Because I've actually beaten this game yes. several times through, and... Now that I have done that before recording this audio, I remember what is happening. Because <laughs> I was explaining partial thoughts of stuff that I remembered from like 10 years ago when I beat it the first time. Okay. So. And there's the frame rate for you. Although I must say, I do like the music. Very much so. Yeah, it's and surprisingly, that was one of the things that was critiqued the most, is that the music wasn't very good in Chrono Cross compared to Chrono Trigger. Okay, so I, I'm, before I was trying, I was worried about it, there being an attract mode. I want to see if there's anything more to this, so I'll hang on this for a second to see if this cutscene does anything. So let's, let's establish something real quick. So we did a session before this, went horribly. <laughs> um, actually, it went, it went perfectly we fine. Were fine yeah. It was fine. Okay, let's, okay, no, 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 I don't, I don't want to see any of that. I have never, outside of, I would say for the average player, maybe the first two hours of the game, because we were joking around and we were talking to everybody. And oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. outside of the first two hours <laughs> of the game, the tutorial, like you were saying. Yeah. Um, I have not played any of Chrono Cross. I know nothing about it, but I have played Chrono Trigger. And uh, yep. Josh here... Booby, <laughs> you have some hot takes on that subject, don't you? I, I'm i in the camp of people that thinks that Chrono Cross is a better game than Chrono Trigger. Shots fired! Uh, I also, having now played through it again, uh, everybody who says it's not a direct sequel to Chrono Trigger is lying to you because they never actually beat Chrono Cross. Um, the further you get, like, I can understand why you would think that it's not a direct sequel, playing the first, like, three hours like we did. Yes. Um, you would think, oh, this isn't the same game at oh, all. No, it's it, not even the same stuff. It, in the first hour, you pointed this out to me in the, the first session, and we'll come back to it again, because I I did go back and look up Chrono Trigger. On just I just pulled up the wiki. Yeah. The Treasure Hunters... I, did, oh, yeah, I yeah. did see them, so they were they're in the first hour. We'll 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 see them again in this session. But uh. yeah, my original thought was I agree. It's not a direct sequel. There are a bunch of crossover characters, and it's like a wink and a nod to like this being the same thing. Um, because to cut you off real quick, um, yeah. the one of the few things I I knew about Chrono Cross before we decided to do this is that I had heard it wasn't a direct sequel. It was more of an indirect sequel, and. Last time you told me that it takes place in the same, 
It's like it's in the same universe, but it's not. It's tangentially related. You're saying that's incorrect now. Uh, no, no, no. That is still somewhat okay. correct. It is. It is in the same universe, but saying that it is an indirect sequel is a little incorrect, and that's something that we'll probably learn. You're, if we continue playing the way where we read all of the NPC dialogue, okay. it's going to take like 200 hours of gameplay <laughs> to get to that point. <laughs> if we hit the main story beats, you could probably beat the game in like a week. Okay. So. Well, I'll, I'll tell you how I'm, I'm going through this. Let, let's establish another thing. The only other things I know about this game is an indirect sequel. Uh, the music is both good and terrible, apparently. The main battle uh, theme oh, people yeah. complain about a lot, and it seems fine to me, although, again, I only played it for, <laughs> for roughly an hour. It is the exact same battle theme the entire game, though. So uh, I could understand why, like, if you're playing it for a long time, uh, it could get repetitive. Are you serious? No, I'm 100% serious. There are two tracks. There's the random enemy, or, like, semi-random enemy battle theme, and then there's the boss theme. That's your battle music. <laughs> But oh. I will point out that Final Fantasy did essentially the same thing. I think there was like three or four tracks in that one. So Sounds like And it's it. a significantly longer game. Okay, okay. Well, so. we'll, we'll see. I probably won't notice because, again, I, we were able to familiarize me with the combat system beforehand. But let's jump right in. The biggest benefit to Chrono Cross over like, something like Final Fantasy is you don't actually have to fight battles in order to play the game. Yes. The game is primarily a story game with a battle system wrapped around <laughs> it. You could fight it if you could get through it one. without fighting any enemies, you would always be at the appropriate level to take on the boss. Right. Provided that you went around town and bought the elements that you needed or whatever. Right, right. right. You can do that for most of the game. Towards the end of the game, there is a concept called trapping elements, which like you kind of have to bait the enemy into casting a higher level element in order to get like the maximum level elements. It's oh, not something see, you see, have to do, okay. but if you want to have the most powerful stuff available to you at any given time, you're going to have to learn how to do that. Well, I'm always about optimization, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But right away, I want to comment that, once again, our main character's name is Surge. Yeah. And not like a title, Surge, as in S-U-R-G. <laughs> it's a Surge. Like Sergey. Sir <laughs> or you know not at all, Josh. Just without the gay. <laughs> I, I think it, the characters in this game are somewhat named better than Chrono Cross, in my opinion. Wait, because cr the characters Chrono in Trigger. Chrono, <laughs> Chrono Trigger. Because Chrono Trigger's main character's name is Chrono, which I, I'm sorry, I think that's a stupid character name. <laughs> <laughs> it's about the time. I, I understand that it's heavily what, what was the, setting up uh, foreshadowing, I guess. What's, what's the, the... Was it Lean was her name? Lena. Lena. No, 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 no. no not to... Not oh, to, wait, wait, wait. In uh, Chrono Trigger. Maybe it was Lean. The blonde girl. Yeah, L-E-E-N-E, -E -E, I think. Yeah, I, I Queen cannot, Lean. I looked it up, and I cannot even remember. Anyway. Oh, that's my job. <laughs> I'm not actually playing the game, so my job is to drink and uh, look up random facts about the game. All right, he, he is here to guide me through this, and... Yeah, Lean, L-E-E-N-E. -E. Okay, good. I still have it still oh, in my memory. and her name is Marl, but eventually Marl. it's changed to Lean. Or Queen Lean is... Lean is the queen, Marl is the normal girl. Passes away, and then Marl takes over her place. <laughs> Spoiler alert for those of you who haven't played Chrono, Chrono Trigger. Trigger. I would just go out on a limb and say don't and just play Chrono Cross because it's a better game. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. We're, whoa! Oh yeah, by the way, the two main characters in this tutorial scene are hey. Serge and Kid. The third member is always random. Always random. Which you found differently because I think you had Lena the first time you played. I did! Yeah. So I, okay. This sequence is always different. Okay. Irene's, what is it, Herr? Oh, she might be a little German. What is it, Herr Serge? <laughs> oh. You look troubled. <laughs> I forgot to mention. I made this. I made this mention the last time we talked, uh -huh. or the last time we played. This game came out in the '90s. <laughs> there are going to be some character representations of certain people groups. You don't say. Are this we, is, are we going this to, is your warning now. We're going, to, we're going to get there, but last session, I got real uncomfortable with a particular dog at the beginning. You like, don't have to take that character, by I, the way. 
Okay. But yeah. <laughs> All the characters are optional. This is this is to it. <laughs> this is not how German people speak English. Whatever. There is no t turning back now. <laughs> I kind of sound <laughs> Austrian. <laughs> I've never tried to read Irene's or Irene's. Uh, Irene's. Dialogue as German or Austrian. And then, okay, kid here is the most confusing thing because <laughs> every time I tried, I try to read kid's dialogue, it either comes out as sometimes it seems like it's New Yorker, sometimes <laughs> it seems like Australian, sometimes it seems like she's from Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> and you were slipping in and out between like pseudo Australian and, and like Liverpool somehow. <laughs> So I'm not even going to try, or I might, it might come through just because I'm trying to read the lines. Just you wait, Lynx, today's gonna be the day of reckoning. Now, Lynx here, I did not even pick, that might be the cat man. Say your prayers, not that it'll do you any good. Could be, yeah. <laughs> you did mention something last time we played about there not being any indication about what that thing was in the room. Uh, if you want, you miss the story bit, you can go to the left here. Oh, yes. Uh, and they'll talk about the thing in that room that you have to go and activate anyway. Okay, so good thing here is I already know what the controls are, so Don't I can to just jump right into yeah. things. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is all I was missing out on. Oh, okay. Yeah, they just they talk about it a little bit. Also, I want to point out if Irene's is supposed to be German and I'm taking that from the <laughs> ist dot, uh, it should be vat. You know. Uh, it could be like a Norwegian accent also. What is that? Crystal like ring. Like uh, maybe Dutch? Some kind of switch. Bugger! So close and yet so far. But these are, Just these are jump. adventurers, right? Just jump! After this dream sequence. Oops, spoiler. Oh, uh, <laughs> I already know. I, we, I... we established that the characters, they can jump. Like we know that they can. Yes. It's just... It's so, is this story. a man or woman? That is a mermaid. Uh, well, yeah, okay, thank you. There oh, are... Irene's is a female mermaid. Female, okay, thank you. <laughs> I thought that that was obvious from mermaid. Oh, wait, wait. A uh, masculine mermaid I would be a merman. I remember when we were talking about the controls, you could actually do this. Uh, status. There we go. Hey, there it is. Late Zelbes's sister... Age 16, female, from the ocean. <laughs> Got it. Naturally. Height 5'10", weight 100, 115 pounds? That's a pretty heavy fish. De oh, wow, now I can see her design. That's a, that's a female mermaid, you bet. 16 years old. <laughs> oh, I did not know she was 16. I assumed that she was in her 30s. It's 16. Based on, it's based on her story content. Okay. Build mermaid right handed and is carrying a harp. All right, yeah, this is a weird thing about the game. Every character is right handed or left handed for some reason. Some of them are ambidextrous. I don't know why that's relevant because you can't change where they're holding their weapon. But I do think, like, the character, if they are left handed, like, their weapon will be in their main hand. Uh huh. So that's kind of an interesting oh. detail. Oh, that's with some stuttering. All right, so I already know how this works. What we want to do? <coughs> Flash, flicker. Now, Roman cancel. And I'll kind of explain what's going on here. So, in combat, your character has a main attack, and then it's got these levels of an element grid. And so, when you land an attack, like a level one attack, you unlock one level of the element grid. And if you land like a level three attack, you'll unlock three levels of the element grid, and they kind of stack. There are eight total levels, five of which are unlocked in this little tutorial sequence. And so uh, once you unlock a level of the element grid, you have the ability to cast a spell from it. Uh, in this game, they're called elements. And uh, once you cast an element in a battle, it's gone for that entire battle. So like bringing a bunch of, like if you know you're gonna fight a blue enemy, you're gonna bring a bunch of red elements. Uh, if you know you're gonna fight a red enemy, bring a bunch of blue elements, that kind of thing. That way you don't run out of the stuff that will damage. There are some enemies, by the way, just so you know, okay. uh, that can absorb their same color of magic. Okay. They're not anywhere near the beginning of the game, but like 
towards the middle of the game you'll start to encounter them. Right. Most okay. bosses do not absorb elements, but the most keyword the they're they're very obvious which bosses will absorb them, and I'll leave it at that. Okay. Now the good news is is I haven't gone through this. I. <laughs> Most of my time was spent just wandering back and forth in this zone because I did not know you could go under that bridge. <laughs> I want to make a comment here about these gorgeous pre-rendered painted backgrounds. These are, for people who don't know how games were made back in the PlayStation 1 era, this is a, somebody took the time to draw this, paint this, and then they took a picture of that and uploaded it into the game. Similar to how like Resident Evil 1 yes, was done. Precisely. But I literally spent what, about 30 minutes not realizing <laughs> this is something I could just walk under. <laughs> Most of the stuff that you can walk under, by the way, bridges and stuff, will have a light on either side. Okay. And let you kind of know that that is a, a trip. Uh, a trespassable. A, a, a passable. <laughs> a traversable. Uh, traversable. That's the. Uh, the mind-numbing effects of alcohol, folks. <laughs> Strap it, everyone. I, I'm just kidding. I'm not that drunk. We're here for a good time. All right. Excuse me. And this is what I think is Crowd Across's biggest strength is that because the boss or like the battles in between boss fights are in, inconsequential, you can kind of just walk by things. There are some monsters that you can't avoid, um, like. They'll just drop down on you, and there's basically no way to avoid that. But like for the most part, you can kind of just run around the enemies and not have to fight them. So that, I think, is a strength, because in a JRPG like this, you're kind of just playing it for the story. Everybody, hey, What the bloody hell just happened? What are we doing out here? Oh, it's like a teleporter or something. Oh, I know. <laughs> Although, it's interesting to me... Wow! Bugger! We're so high up. Is this thing floating? Did it feel like your body passed through the floor just now? <laughs> you sound like the, uh, I know, like, there's a... It sure is some force. Is the, the pigs in uh, Shrek, <laughs> like the, the three pigs that are running from the big bad wolf. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You're all right, right? You've been, doing, you've been acting all weird. We don't know what's up ahead, so just stay on your toes, eh? I, I. So this is a decision you make as a writer when you go. This is the. This goes back to the Huckle, uh, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn conversation, where you go. Do you Ooh. write in dialect? Because if nobody understands the dialect, gotcha. It's going to be the most confusing thing in the world. I'll have to play more of this game, but from what I saw in the beginning, <laughs> I think, I think it does it. It does a good job of differentiating. Multiple characters, because there are 45 characters you get in this game. It It is valid characterization, I'll give you that. Uh, and I think one of the biggest criticisms, actually I know one of the biggest criticisms of the game, is that most of the characters don't get much more than their dialect, because the third party member will always say the third party member line at certain events, just in their own dialect. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Now, I saw this in the intro cutscene as well. Ah, Serge just said, kid, why would he do that? But why? <laughs> but why? Serge. I cannot get over his name, Serge. <laughs> good, oh, good morning, Serge. That is more like a soft, Serge, Serge. Yeah, it's like, come on, sleepyhead, get up. Somebody's screaming at you from the other room. Anytime text is outside of a dialogue box, it's like, the character hearing it ambiently. I will point out as a writer, uh, one of the biggest cliches you should always avoid is don't have your characters wake up from a dream as a way to start your narrative. Oh. <laughs> that is actually how I start a lot of my D&D campaigns. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Apparently I'm a bad writer, but that's okay. <laughs> it's a cliche. It's not, it's not to say yeah. you're bad. It's just, it's so overdone. That makes sense. So, okay. Um... There is something in those pots, by the way. Oh, for God's sake. I'm going to go. Do you want the stuff that's hidden? Yes. Arnie Village, so this is the village that you start in, has like probably 50 items and elements. You forgot the money under your bed. Oh, you so. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, 
in both versions good thing you're here. of this town, <laughs> there are things that are hidden in the environment, but not in chests. And I think that they switched to chests, like out in the other parts of the map, because they didn't want the player to miss anything. Right. Uh, but every other time, those kinds of things will just be in a chest on the map. Yes. So, um, I'll go ahead and kitty. Yay. Meow. Meow. Mom. Marge, or I call her, I call my mom by her first name. <laughs> Good morning, Serge. You're finally up. The sun's already reached high noon. Oh. Uh, it's high noon. <laughs> by the way, didn't you have plans to meet with Lena this morning? No. Oh, okay, that's who I was confusing Marl with. Yep. There's Marl, Lean, Lena, Lenora, yep. Lenore. Luca. <laughs> Luca? Is that from Chrono Trigger? Yeah. She's the nerd girl, right? Yeah. Nerd flavor? Uh, the genius, but yeah. Nerd spice? Genius spice? Sure. Um, also, apparently, an orphan. I, whatever. It's, sure. It's nerd spice. We have spicy spice, which is kid. And then we have normal spice, which is coming up soon. <laughs> yeah. Lena came by to see if you were up, but you, young man, were still off in Never Never Land. You shouldn't break promises like that. <laughs> Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry. Boy, you can say that again. Okay, now is this a Dark Souls thing and I have to talk to you again? Uh, yes. Okay. She will say uh, oh, I thought she would say No apologies, sir. Don't expect me to stick up for you if Lena ever uh, decides to show you, blow you <laughs> off. You wouldn't want that, right? That would be bad. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> then get your priorities straight and let her know how you feel. Understand? Do you understand? <laughs> Always. I do like the fact that like Serge is not totally a silent protagonist. Not totally. Uh, tomorrow is a new day. Who knows what will happen? Only in FMVs will he never speak. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think anybody speaks in the FMV. Okay. So now that I'm out here, uh, let's stab something. <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, so only up until we get to there's a particular cape I'm, I'm actually amazed my memories actually of the first session is kind of floating away as i play through this god this game looks great or yeah. this background looks great not the character sprites themselves those look old as sin but and this is the remaster i, I know this is the these remaster. are the new and improved models <laughs> well there goes your monetization <laughs> i'm sorry Anyway. It's fine. They know that they messed up when they released this. Okay. The anyway, anyway. I, you know, I, I will say this: for PSX, they look fine. They look pretty good, yeah. actually. I, I, I do like. Um, I'm always a sucker for colors, though. I love just colors and everything. So. Yeah. Um, Josh is going to uh, prioritize a couple of things. Number one, I want to try to see as much content as possible, uh -huh. just in case. Um, well, it's impossible to miss content. I'll throw that out there. Okay. Uh, but number two, if I'm about to miss a party <laughs> member... That is possible. Because he's told me this is possible. <laughs> that I was the funniest thing ever. I would like to know, and I've actually kind of forgotten the point at which it happens here, because... In our first session, and I lost my mind, <laughs> we ended with him uh -huh. telling me... Uh, before we realized we weren't recording, like literally we were ending the session. It's like, all right, we'll come together next week. And then he goes, by the way, you missed a character. <laughs> and and I it was went, like, after the after one boss, after you, one boss, you missed a character and could not get them. Like that was the one character you couldn't no, get back the part, ever again. It, it was the part where you told me I could <laughs> never get them again, where I lost my mind and said, why would anyone do that? Uh, the t the teenage heart is fickle. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's and so. If I'm going to miss a party member, or there's a if choice, I recall, that is the only character that is like that. Okay. Where like if you miss the trigger, you've missed it. Okay. Um, because I think even uh, the dog character, like I think you can still go back, find the Hecarim bone, give it to her, and she'll join your party, regardless of where you're at. Um, <clears throat> there is an item on her cart if you want it. Oh, okay. But anyway, he, he, Josh is here to basically make sure I don't 
Yeah. That doesn't happen, you hear me? <laughs> I'm, I'm listening. You I'll, can't, you I'll can't let see you this. Know. I'm pointing my finger at him. I'll, I'll let you know when it's time to start paying attention to character stuff. Okay. So uh, when certain choices are relevant. Grab yeah. these two and cure. Which it is impossible to get every character in the game in the first playthrough. You did tell me that. You do have to play the game at least three times through to get all the characters in the game. I, I still, I, we'll get to it. Technically whatever. four times through, but that's kind of neither here nor there. Okay, well, we're doing this once. Yeah. Maybe in my own time I'll, I'll do that just to be interesting. Oh, it looks there like... There is an achievement for getting all the characters in your party at once. Oh, well, how much gamer score, bro? Uh, probably like 100. <laughs> Not much, I could say that. <laughs> oh, looks like you found it. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Oh, looks... Oh, looks like you found it. Oh, well. Oh, well, go ahead, take it. It's on me. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, right. There was this thing where you could change yeah. that thing. I'll That's just another leave. weird feature of the game. You could change the text box for whatever reason. I don't know why. It's just an option. Hey, you can in Pokemon. Why not? Hello, sir. Oh, Beautiful true. day today, isn't it? Sure feels great outside. Uh, just being able to bask in the sun all day sure is a nice change. They say the rain cleanses one's spirit, but at our age, we've had enough cleansing. <laughs> I wonder if these soldiers, those soldiers are back to work, at, at work, digging that hole. Um, now that the rains have subsided. I don't know what they're up to, but it seems like soldiers are digging up all of Fossil Valley. I can't figure out what they're thinking. Why would they want to dig up a place like that? Hmm. Hmm. Being a text-based game, a lot of the world building is going to come from NPC dialogue. Right. Sergi, check out the sawfish! That's a heck of a sawfish. The sawfish I know look like stingrays with a weird <laughs> hedge clipper or hedge trimmer for their nose. Awesome, ain't it? Poppy caught it down south by the El Nido Triangle. Nobody likes going down there, though. They all, they all say it's creepy. <clears throat> but this sucker sure looks tasty. Mmm. You know it, kid. And what do you have to say? Yo, Serge, what do you think of this sawfish? What do you think of the sawfish? <laughs> it's like a really bad nickel back line. Look at this sawfish! <laughs> Thank you, that's what I was thinking of. I, I, it slipped my mind. Look at this sawfish! Every time I do it makes me wish <laughs> that I never heard this song. Have you ever seen this one this sad? <laughs> this has got to be one from the legendary Dragon King Palace. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, Serge? You're pro. Ha! You wish! <laughs> yeah, I guess legends are meant to be legends. Yeah, that definitely would have been too good to be true. Oh well, at least I know for sure this one's a biggie. <laughs> Live an honest life and something good is bound to happen. <laughs> I'm also, it's always impressive to me when they can do stuff like uh, you see the guy up there uh, right above. Oh, your mom? Just. Oh, the mom up above <laughs> doing things? Yeah. It's interesting how you can peep through a window and look at your mom. <laughs> no, I mean on a pre-rendered background. I know. They, I... they, they make the village, and, you know, there's, people are doing stuff, right? It's always... It does look very lived in. Lived like, in, it's believable. Yes. Unlike some companies who release games based on, you know, heroes that save the world, and their towns have, like, five people in them. <laughs> Not... But what do they eat, Josh? <laughs> People, apparently. <laughs> That's where all the other That's NBCs are. So <laughs> the uh, only people left alive in Scrolls games are cannibals. <laughs> the record of fate tells me not to go out to see today. That's why I'm here for the Chief's Lecture. Go against the record of fate and you'll regret it for sure. I Dude. did actually kill this guy in my new game plus. So. Uh, what? Uh, We've talked about this before. Okay. This is the village chief. His name's Radius. Uh, oh, I'm not talking to Radius. I'm talking yeah. to the red shirt guy. There's uh, like this. It's uh, best to take it easy. We should all live in harmony with fate. So this guy? Yeah, this guy, he'll offer you, like, to teach you how to do the Battle of Chrono Cross. And it's scripted, but you can actually, like, oh, if okay. you do, like, 20,000 damage to him, he'll actually give up the fight. <laughs> okay, so you can't kill him. No, no, no. He'll just be well, like, said kill, I stand so defeated. I pictured in my head, like, well, what happens then? Yeah, it's close enough for me. <laughs> it, it satisfies my curiosity. I like the oh, idea you, of being you're able... You're telling me 20,000 damage, so you, you probably killed somebody with that. Yeah. I did everything just as Chief Radius told me, and now the aches in my body are completely gone. What a fine man our Chief is. Skilled, competent, 
caring, and he only asked for 50 bucks. <laughs> I heard he was quite a warrior in his prime. Oh. You could learn much from our chief and grow up to be a great man like Radius. And maybe have an even dumber name. <laughs> like Onionus. Hi, Surge. I, Gunji, know all and see all. I can tell you all you need to know about using key items. But only if your toes are in the correct position. Well, if you point your toes at somebody when you're talking to them, that means you like them. If one toe is up and one toe is down, Ganji does not know all. <laughs> Just saying, okay? Otherwise, he knows everything. You already know how to use key items? What's that? You already have a Deku sword and shield. You're here too? <laughs> Darn! <laughs> I'll have to think of something new for next time. Okay, let's see. Uh, here's the racist dog, which I I have. The dog's racist? I, I, <laughs> the dog might be racist. Maybe. The dialect is, uh, ooh, this was the thing that made me. Oh, it, the dog is like speaking in kawaii. Oh. That's kind of the thing. Okay. It's I like completely. It's cat meme speech. Okay. I thought it was Japanese being horribly racist no. against the Chinese. No. <laughs> I mean, okay. I could be wrong. So it's supposed to be it's like, meant to be like, like the, the cheeks are, are pushed up. The boy. Okay, okay. Well, I'm. Anyway. <laughs> Sawi. Sawi. Oh, God. That's it. You know what? In a way, that's almost. No, it's not worse. It's dumber. <laughs> not worse. It is dumber. Have you already met up with Lena? I'm Me? sure it's led to many complicated feelings about animals. Me. For people that have played this game. That Me are... thinks she walked by the Pia. In the furry community. <laughs> hey, oh, sure. Soji, getting off that train of thought. Want to hear a secret? It's all it's about Poshol. Don't ask your mom about that, kid. Tell me about Poshol and not about the mermaid chick we just saw. Oh, they don't know about that girl. Sure, tell me. Okay, but keep it a secret, okay? Ready? Poshol is such a pig when it comes to eating. She'll do anything if she's fed her favorite <laughs> dish. <laughs> And then, and then we, we, we lean in real close, and the, <laughs> we, the, it goes dark vignetting around uh, Serge's eyes, uh, and he leans into the kid and goes, anything? <laughs> <laughs> the camera pans back out, and there's like his nose bleed, and he's like... <laughs> <laughs> just a little, though. Yeah, just a little so, bit. You can't see enough, though. <laughs> Very unladylike, isn't it? Tempted by food. Ah, uh, yes. This is our cutesy character. So, um... That is my guess. I, I believe... Pashul is meant to represent the, like Lolita, like that whole thing. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, cutie, cutie character. And yeah. this is the Chrono Trigger guy. Yes, that's Yo, cool. my name's Toma the 14th, but people usually put the Great Explorer in front of my name. Okay. The Great Explorer Toma. Oh, that, oh that's his that's name. That's his, yeah. That's oh, dang it. <laughs> uh, I, was <laughs> I was just looking around for treasure. I have a sixth sense, you know. Yo, I wasn't gardening. I uh, was really looking for treasure. You know, speaking of gardening, I actually have a new, um, I have a plant that I started, oh. I started uh, caring for a plant. And you know what? It's, uh, it's kind, of, kind, of, kind of nice, actually. It's a good hobby. It's a good hobby. I, I, I like it. It's like getting a fish tank. You don't actually have to take care of it it's that not, often. It's not high maintenance. It's, <laughs> you kind of just, it's not constantly begging you to take it outside the you poop. Sit, you, you, <laughs> you let it sit there and it just does its thing. It's, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's exactly right, sir. It's, there it is, the record of fate. It records everything, good or bad. It, it, everything? <laughs> Search goes. Like all those thoughts about the dog? <laughs> <laughs> How much of everything are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does it know my browsing history? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Watch your cell phone quick, sir! <laughs> Delete your cookies! Fun fact, though. Uh huh. The record of fate, that will be relevant later. Oh, great. If you happen to cross one of these, don't forget to record everything you've done. So, save points. These are save points. Yeah, these little triangle cube things are save points. Think of how terrible it would be if you lost your past. There wouldn't be anything you could do about it. Oh, boy.